Hello, in this video we will explain to you why you are failing to control the German cockroaches. What you don't recognize is that they are tough to kill and it's not a one round battle. You have to battle them probably three rounds, minimum two. Um, and it does not require, it, you cannot win the war just using one poison. You got to use multiple applications, okay? So m multiple types of poison, that is. Uh, some of the things that I have been using that uh, made me successful is uh, I use these baits. There are two types. Uh, don't worry about the name. You don't need to write them, but... I use two baits. This is one, this is two. Uh, two different poisons. Um, I use these cans with the nozzle on them. Uh, you can uh, stick that anywhere. There's a hole and spray, uh, where it's normally going to be difficult to reach. Um, I like the, my most effective weapon, number one, is the tempet. Temperate FX and the last one, or Orteen. Now, for those of you that gross out real easy, you need to turn around because the next scene is going to be gross. So I'm going to wait one, two, three. Uh, another effective is these uh, stick on. As you can see, it's effective and it's working. Now, what happens is you kill the roaches. With one poison, let's use temperate effects, which is very effective. And what happens, the eggs that were laid down will hatch, I don't know, within 10 days, 20 days later, and uh, they will come back. Also, what you don't recognize is that when you use a poison, you kill about 95% of the roaches. 5% of them probably going to be immune. That's why you need a second poison or a third or a fourth or a fifth and a sixth. So if you think you can get them uh, with one poison, you are wrong. Uh, also, you need to go back within like a couple of weeks and chase them down again. And your main problem is your dishwasher. This is your famous dishwasher. If you go look on the trap, like there, you see water. Where there is water, there will be life. That's where the filter goes. And the dirty dishes in here will also contribute to them feeding. Now, most people think dishwashers are sealed. You are incorrect. When it gets hot, the hot steam needs to get out, and the way it gets out, is through these vents right here and also you see these holes right there for the latches well anyway the steam goes from here to here right there so you have an access from here to here well actually more like they pop out from here somehow they are able to get in believe me uh, if you leave some water and some dirty dishes in here and you come back, there will be roaches in there. Uh, they also live inside the door. Now, all of these uh, poisons damage electronics, so do not spray it on the uh, electronic part, which is the, where the wiring and the... Uh, capacitors and the transistors and the the board where the computer is computer board part of them it will destroy it uh, if it hits anything else it will uh, change the color because it's acidic the, most of these poisons are so what you have to do is uh, get rid of dirty dishes that means uh, Wash your dishes, okay? There should not be any food. Uh, so wash them daily. Empty your trash. 
daily and then uh, use two different poisons minimum and uh, keep at it uh, your battle will be won within a month probably completely uh, in the first round you probably get rid of 90 percent and then uh, two weeks later you get rid of the uh, maybe uh, some more but by the time you're completely free and clear it will probably take as much as a month so be patient and all of these can be purchased on internet there are two companies that have identical names I will leave the links for that one of them is called uh, do my own pest control and then do your own pest control which is almost identical now the way you use this particular item is you go behind all your electronics. Here's an example right there. Flip them and put a poison. Uh, basically, you put over here and you just put a dab there, okay? Just a tiny amount. You see how tiny it is? So all your electronics right here, they are warm and nice and Plenty of hiding place. You need to flip them and put your poison right there. So that's how you use the bait. You, you can make your own bait. Uh, what I do, here's a good example. I use these cups. I put milk in there a little bit. or And then I poison it with a spray. So I'll leave it there. Uh, you will see that through my house, uh, for example, pantry area. Now, you may have pets, and they may not be. Well, if you have pets, cats, you probably don't have roaches. They kill all the roaches. <laughs> That's a benefit of it. You get fleas, but <laughs> which you can control, but they kill all the roaches. Now, as we said, three things roaches need. The three triangles are water, food, and hiding place. So get rid of the hiding places, uh, cock everything. So if there is a gap anywhere on the walls, on the corners, uh, spray it and cock it. So, I'm going to show you how you can use, uh, see right here, we put some uh, bait, see that corner right there, that black dot on the corner, that's the bait. Try to put them somewhere that people don't see it because uh, after a while there's so many of them. If you go underneath here, you see. Those are all baits. And uh, we showed you how to make your own bait. Uh, what you want to do is right here, right here, use that nozzle. Use this. And put your nozzle there. And shoot in there inside the cavity. That's where the, a good place for them to hide. Here's another one. Shoot in there. Some poison. Uh, so. I've been fighting to get rid of this forever. Uh, I hate it because it does two things. Uh, you're always busy and you don't have time to do anything. But uh, you end up leaving water as you can see. Here you go. And there's food. You can see it in form of a vegetable. German roaches will eat everything. I heard they even eat Elmer glue if they get hungry enough. So th this thing is no-no. And I have given up with a wife. Uh, but as you can see, you, you should get rid of it because it holds water. And on the bottom of it, I guarantee you there's enough food for uh, roaches to have a party because they don't need much. Uh, we're talking about a pen size. Uh, food is good.
good enough for them to be happy. So I hope, as far as the pest controls or con pest control companies are concerned, uh, they charge between $100 to $300 to come do the first round of uh, uh, cleanup for you. Uh, it's well worth it because uh, they're going to be there about an hour maybe. Uh, the one that I liked the most, the most, the prices were from $100 to $300 last time I did it. And uh, Terminex is the one that I would talk to first. Now, I don't know where you live, if there are Terminex in your area, but if you live in the United States, it does. Uh, they do uh, a good job, and you can bargain with them to have coupons or whatever. Uh, I start with Terminex. There's bunch of other ones that I talked to they were they were not giving me as good of a price and they're well worth it I would recommend for you let them do it but let's say for some reason you don't have that access or your problem uh, you have multiple houses and multiple location to take care of uh, then it's worth to do it yourself as usual wear all your gloves and all your things some of you are going to be so sensitive and some are not going to be bothered with these things uh, but where the follow the instructions now I'm going to give you the links where to buy these items uh, from the website and they have uh, they have uh, a package for you and they change the poison they know what they're doing and they're focused on customer purchase not a business purchase uh, they're they're focused on retail business of the pest control. And uh, I would recommend definitely get the temperate FX. That was my favorite. Uh, all of these uh, need to go in a container. The container I use is a very basic one right here. Bought from Home Depot. Okay. This is it. And you don't need to put much in there to get... Uh, a good job done so bottom line get rid of the cracks with by cocking it uh, get rid of the water which kind of almost impossible get rid of the food three things they need to live cracks means right here there might be a gap between this piece and this piece cock it you see the cocking right there it's been and also you, you notice there's a poison right there we put a poison there here's a good example you see that crack right there you need to get rid of it if the crack is big uh, where they can easily go in there they're not going to use it but if, but if it's super tight like they will like a crack between this piece and this piece because you barely can see the crack. They will like that, but they're not gonna use the crack from here to here because I can. You can put a credit card in it. It's so big. Uh, they're like super tight spot. We're talking about. They will go between this piece of metal and there. They will live right here underneath that. But this crack right here, if there was one, they wouldn't use it. So they need super super tight cracks. I hope this will answer your questions and I was successful at taking care of it on my own, but I definitely say the pest control people do a good job and you should use them uh, before you try this, but some people like to do their own and or they may not have access uh, to it, so they want to do their own. Again, uh, going through it, you need several poison. It will be like the, your famous Corona, wave one, wave two. So you need several kinds of poisons, okay? Like this one and this one are identical, just different type of poison. These two cans are identical, just different poison. I mean, the way you, and these two are identical, just different poison. So... Uh, and make your own. Uh, making your own is the easiest way. You get a cup. This is a ketchup container. Make sure it's not metal, whatever you do. You can use a plastic bottle cap from your Coke. Uh, don't use metals. 
because uh, again, uh, it will react with the metal. It's acidic, the poison, most of them. And your biggest problem also going to be behind the refrigerator right here. So what you need to do is pull the refrigerator out, clean behind it, spray the back of the refrigerator, uh, because refrigerators use the condensation and drop it outside. So there's always water underneath the refrigerator. Uh, take care of the microwave. Behind it is electronic, uh, constantly food going in there and the oil evaporates and shoots out in the back of that uh, behind me right there. There will be uh, residue of oil and food because the fan blows it out and make sure you take care of that area. Uh, and 99% of your uh, work is in kitchen. The major guys like Terminix only work in the kitchen. They don't go living room. They don't go bathroom. They don't go nowhere. Only they work in the kitchen um, and outside. And I uh, did not cover the outside portion because if they're not outside, they cannot get in. Uh, so there are other Pests that these poison control as well, uh, like ants and silverfish and anything else that moves just about and bugs you, any bug. So, good luck and tell me if you have any question, I will answer it and uh, have a great day. May you win.